So let's say I want to keep going and improve this guy's uh, proportions, and let's say I feel that this guy's legs are too short. Instead of actually freehand continuing to manipulate this uh, silhouette, which doesn't take long, but let's say I had bothered to add some more detail into these legs. Another way to do it, uh, and maintain the detail you have, is to grab uh, that portion as a brush. And right now I'm grabbing it with the left mouse button, which leaves the original version of it in the art there. However, if I know I want to remove them or change them, I can uh, I just press B twice to get to freehand grab, and now I'm grabbing it with the right mouse button. And that rips it right off of the art, and now it's sort of in my hand, so to speak. And I'm going to hold what is, I believe, by default, Shift Z, and that's telling it that I want to change the size, uh, sort of freehand change the shape of this brush that I'm clicking. So I just left click and drag, and I can pull and stretch the shape of this however I want, and it's anchored where I left it. So uh, in this case, since I'm going straight down, it's very easy to sort of drag out the legs as long as I think they need to be, and then simply stamp them back down and left click, press period, and I'm back in the drawing uh, So that's just a really fast way to uh, to start to work on a figure. And as you can see, now that I've started to perform uh, sort of fixes to the proportions, he's gotten taller than this guy. So again, I can pick him up, press minus a couple times, get him back to the right size, and snap him back down. Uh, I can also start to test things. A uh, really useful technique in any kind of drawing or painting, whether it be digital or with traditional media, is to have a mirror handy uh, to be able to see the thing, um, see its mirror image, because we all have our, our biases, and usually it's much easier to see the flaws in your own art when you see the mirror image of it, because it sort of eliminates the, the natural biases that we all have. It's almost like seeing someone else's art and you're able to see uh, issues that, to, that you might not have been able to see if you keep them normal. So another trick that I do um, all the time is either by grabbing as a brush and pressing X by default to flip or choosing um, animation flip, flip frames horizontal, uh, I flip the art I'm working on so that I can better troubleshoot. Shoot. And over the course of the evolution of the art, I just keep flipping back and forth to uh, continually look as, as fast as possible, allow my, my own biased mind to see where things aren't as, aren't as good as they could be.